Good evening. Uh, I'd like to thank Medifacos for their kind invitation and give, giving me this opportunity to present my uh, new software. Uh, interest in uh, ectotic corneal disorders is increasing day by day. As you know, there are a lot of uh, management modalities. Some of them is non-interventional, like spectacles and contact lenses. Others are interventional, like corneal cross-linking, custom PRK, intracorneal rings, myoring, fake ILs, DALC, PALC, SALC, and we don't know what we would have in the future. Of course, those modalities depend to a great extent on parameters of the patient, including age, sex, progression, K readings, pachymetry, refractive error, topographic astigmatism, and correct and best correct visual acuity, and corneal transparency. As you see, there is a lot of interrelations between those modalities. There is a big mess, like the buildings of this Congress. <laughs> but in general, we can say the higher the K-max, the more invasive the intervention will be. The thinner the cornea, the more invasive the intervention would be. The higher the refractive error, the more invasive the intervention would be. And the lower the corrected and uncorrected visual acuity, the more invasive the intervention would be. For this reason, I collected all the information about uh, uh, management of keratoconus under one uh, uh, umbrella, and I call, called that uh, software Damascogram, Synjab Data-Based Algorithm for Managing Keratoconus. I'll show you two examples in this uh, software. Uh, uh, windows to input the data of the patient. We have 42 years old patient coming for his right eye. He is male. He has clear cornea and a stable case. His unaided uh, distance visual acuity is counting thin finger. Uh, and the best corrected visual acuity is 0 0.7. The uh, refractive error is minus three sphere, minus four cylinder. The K-max is uh, 50, 58 uh, diopters. The thinnest location is 459. And the topographic astigmatism is consistent with the manifest cylinder. And if we click on the management, the program will suggest some options. Uh, in this case, I'll read this. Advise using contact lenses in case of tolerance and observe the case in close follow-ups. Perform intracorneal rig segments implantation, observe the case, or perform topography guided PRK followed by same session corneal cross-linking, or advise using glasses and observe the case. Now, the software arranges those options from the most favorable to the least favorable. Also, it provides a discussion of the case. This is another example. 19 years old female has a clear cornea in her left eye. Uncorrect visual acuity is counting finger. Best correct visual acuity, 0 0.6. The case is still progressive. She has a very high refractive error, minus 8, minus 7. And the K-max, 62. The thinnest location is 440, and the topographic astigmatism is also consistent with the manifest astigmatism. We have such management modalities, including new modality like lamellar keratoplasty, new suggestions I mean, lamellar keratoplasty, myoring, fake IOL, and so on. Also, we have a discussion of the case here. Some of the features of the, of the software, when the doctor by mistake skips 
to input some data, like here, um, uh, no, no uh, uh, input of progressive or stable of the case, a warning will appear. Also, when the data uh, there, uh, are not logic, uh, like in this case, very high refractive error, and the incorrect visual acuity is 0 0.5, a message will appear that there is no consistency between the refractive error and the incorrect visual acuity, advising the doctor or the optometrist to recheck the patient. General guidelines are provided in this software also, either for the combination between treatments or for each treatment, giving some topographical patterns in order to match the topographical patterns of the patient. Also, uh, auto-saving of patient's information uh, is provided in the software, giving the, 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 uh, the doctor all the previous uh, uh, patients. Uh, features, I'll conclude, features of the uh, software. It can be uh, connected to any topographer. Uh, it can be improved to give measurements and location, location and type of intracorneal rings, FICIC IOL, and it is upgradable. Thank you very much. Thank you.